Anish Tanish Anish. It appears that From Software has been hacked. Well, not directly, but their parent company was hacked. The Kadokawa Corp has actually been dealing with a cyber attack or a ransomware attack. And this is definitely interesting to me because, I mean, this is this is in my wheelhouse. This is what I do. You know, this is my expertise. I've been in the cyber security space and industry for over 10 years now. I've done various, you know, positions in IT and cybersecurity. And I just started playing Elden Ring. Uh, make sure to like and comment on my previous videos. Give me some tips because I am a noob. So I felt like this was in my realm to talk about. First and foremost, what exactly is a ransomware attack? Well, pretty much it's like a hostage situation, except with digital data. You're my data now. You're my data now. Hold on a sec. Hello? I will find you. Liam Neeson. The hackers will basically encrypt all of the files and data that they get access to, and then they'll demand some sort of, you know, usually monetary ransom or whatever. They'll give you a deadline. And if you don't meet that, they usually threaten to leak that information or sell it on the dark web. Now, what I wanted to do is kind of go over this article that I have open and kind of just talk about, you know, uh, some of the main points and highlighted points um, and just go through it. All right. So Japanese publisher Kadokawa Corp. It sounds like they're like a big conglomerate um, publishing company that have a whole bunch of like businesses under them. They experienced a significant cyber attack, including ransomware targeting Nico Nico and the related services. They don't mention from software um, anywhere in their anywhere in their disclosure, but it still could be a possibility. Like I said, they're a big publishing company. They have other businesses under them. Um, so for now, it's all speculation whether or not from software was actually affected from this what that means from from software's end is that if their data got stolen it could mean that information such as future plans future uh dlcs um future projects or even games that they're working on could could have been compromised or could potentially be leaked right now they're still in the discovery phase they're still trying to figure out exactly what happened exactly what type of data you know got stolen now what's interesting is they suffered the attack june 8th and they didn't disclose anything or make it public until um last week i think the 27th which is normal i mean i don't know how it is in asia or anything like that or any of the disclosure um regulations or laws but here in the u.s we have disclosure laws on you know how many days uh until a company has to disclose and make a statement on a cyber attack the the recent law is that any publicly traded company has like four days to disclose a cyber attack that you know that they've been affected by i know like financial type of organizations or companies have like 30 days and it, it just all really depends they go through like the fbi to get extensions and stuff like that um so yeah it could take anywhere from 30 to 60 days for a company to actually disclose to its users that they got hit with a cyber attack and mind you the hacking group gave them until july 1st it's past that now but there hasn't been any information whether or not they've paid the ransom um so we'll see so options options what type of options does katakawa have in this particular situation they can take the l and pay uh the ransom to get all their stuff back or they can take the l and not pay either way you know you got hit with the ransomware like you're taking an l what's most important here is the actual data that was stolen they're not sure basically what type of data it is the reason why hackers give deadlines is it makes it kind of hard for someone or a company to see exactly what was affected now another thing that they could do and there's people that actually do this this is their job but they can hire somebody kind of like um, a hostage negotiator uh, but like a middleman to basically talk to the hackers for them communicate to them and kind of just come up with a deal you know um, that's always a good thing to do 
uh, because it just takes all of that uh, emotional stuff out. You get somebody to talk to the hackers for you that has nothing to do with the company at all and just negotiate with them hopefully try to find like a middle ground or whatever you may be saying i mean like what if you do pay and the hackers still don't give you the decryption key like they don't you know like how am i supposed to trust them trust me bro like i paid all this money and they still didn't give back my data well as crazy as it sounds a lot of hacking groups like this that that do ransomware attacks they kind of treat themselves like a business i know that's kind of crazy to you know to say but they want to be trustworthy to their customers or the to the people that they hack because they just want to keep doing it over and over again i mean if they're known as a hacking group that can't be trusted in a way that you know they don't even give the stuff back even if somebody pays then nobody's gonna pay them and what's even crazier is that some hacking groups as well after like this whole thing is done <laughs> they'll actually send or give information to the company like how they hacked them and how they were vulnerable how they got in and give them a report on how they can basically mitigate it like how how they can prevent it from happening again <laughs> so basically they hack them and then they educate them like, i know that sounds so crazy if they do decide not to pay up the ransom i'm pretty sure a company like this already has backups um they can always you know recover from those backups and everything and like i said still take the l and take the consequences whether it's you know lawsuits or whatever um but yeah it, it just really all depends on what type of information got compromised but yeah that's all i wanted to talk about definitely interesting stuff and let's say if i get like 20 likes on this video all right we'll make it 20 likes then i will definitely make a follow-up video on this um to keep everybody up to date and see what's going on it'll definitely be interesting to find out you know what exactly happened and what type of data was affected by that ransomware and look forward for more elden ring videos i got some more coming up um, when i have time to play that is i'm actually kind of going to lean this channel towards more like short story driven type games um i think that'll be kind of cool to do because i don't really have time to play games and a lot of people don't either so i think that'll be cool um to showcase like you know shorter story type games maybe like ones that you could play in a single sitting or single night and stuff like that um but yeah if you have any thing that comes to mind that are those types of games please let me know in the comments i'll definitely take a look at them and maybe one day play them in the meantime mama yeah.